Okay, so in paragraph one, you have to say what is the website for? Yes, okay. So for example, it says this is a website, yes, uh, it is uh, free, yes, it is a great it is a great place for photographers to show their photos, their, their photos or share their photos with other people. Yes, okay? And on the second paragraph you have to say uh, why it is good for on the second and the third paragraph the back points, yes, and on the fourth paragraph, yes, your conclusion. Why you like this uh, website and if you would recommend it to other people, yes, is it clear? But, yes, okay, you have to use, for example, this, yes, this is the guide, yes, example, and I want you to mark, to highlight, you know, in the first paragraph, yes, the presentation, yes, you say, what is the website, yes, www, yes, okay, dot, blah, 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 yes, firstly, it is easy to find photographs, Second, you can search for things you want to look at. Another good point, yes, and you name another good point. In my opinion, blah, blah, blah. The only problem, and you say all the bad points in this paragraph, acordate de dejar sangría, porque la sangría, ¿sí? acá sangría en el primer párrafo, en la primera letrita, escribí todo, 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 después sangría en el segundo, en el tercero y así. The only problem is that, and you name all the negative points, and then on the whole, or in conclusion, I think this website is very useful for gamers, yes, and blah, 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 yes, in case you are writing about um, a page, a website for ga gamers. And I'm going to teach you, yes, you have to, for next class, you are going to write a um, review. But for the other class, yes, you are going to write a website, yes, okay? You are going to invent your website, okay? So, pay attention because I will teach you the parts of a website, yes? Is it clear? I will show you. Pay attention. This could be a very, very, very nice uh, website job that you have to do. Yes, because I think you like all this kind of. Uh, this is a web design. Yes, okay. So you have to put the logo here. Yes, of your website. Search the banner. And I'm going to show you the banner. Navigation, the app, yes, the adverts, yes, okay, the adverts, and here the footer, yes, okay, I will show you now examples. Let's, uh, so you have the logo of your website, search, the banner, yes, app, yes, navigation, and then the adverts, yes. And then the footer here, the footer there, yes, okay? So I will show you some examples. Banners, yes? Fun and easy, uh, digital, blah, blah, blah. ¿Qué, ¿Qué te parece que son los banners? Yes, ¿qué te parece que son los banners? Todo lo que sea publicitario, yes? Todos los avisos publicitarios, ¿sí? ¿Está? Yes, okay? Get burning, out of play, blah, blah, blah. Um, home edition with mega pack, yes. All the uh, adverts, yes. Eso se llama banner, yes, okay. Después tenemos uh, otros banners también. Mira qué linda organización de este. Este me encanta, yes. Obviously, banners must call the attention of the uh, visitors of your website. Is it clear? So say, give your selfie an upgrade, blah, blah, blah. Get your kitchen into blah, blah, blah. Ready, set, fit. Yes, okay. Discounts and lo que sea. Yes, okay. Then you have uh, otra estructura. Sí, bueno, esto ya, la otra es más fácil. Yes, okay. Tenemos los footers. Ya salió un chiquitito. Eso tengo otro footer. Acá. ¿Ves? Entonces el footer va a ir al pie, acá abajo, donde te mostré. Vos 
puedes poner pausa para hacer. Entonces tenemos Home, Services, Feature, uh, Portfolio, Blog, Location, Team, todos los donde vos puedes hacer clic. Y es Minimal, Anegla, Future. Bueno, esto es, es cómo organizar. Legal, Privacy, términos y de condiciones de uso, Security, Stay Connected y tenés los tres. Ya tenés de Twitter, Facebook, and los, los logos como vimos en la clase pasada, Company, bla, bla, bla. Resources, yes, blog, support, yes, highlight, our story, yes, contact, jobs, is it clear? Entonces vos vas a hacer tu footer, yes, entonces tenés los A, yes, tenés los banner, después tenés el footer abajo, yes, a ver otro ejemplo, acá tenemos un ejemplo de website, ves, Ahí tenés las pestañas, yes, home, services, portfolio, contact, yes, ok, is it clear? Right? Entonces, lo, viste que a veces las pestañas están también o con un solo color, con diferentes colores, yes, y se crea con colores que llaman la atención, yes, ok. ¿Y cuáles son las uh, pages, the website pages, uh, more popular? Ask, eBay, yes, ok. Um, Wikipedia, yes, ok, is it clear? So, these are more uh, Walmart, yes, ok. MySpace, yes, ok. Google, yes, all are the most important website. Entonces, no ahora, ahora vas a escribir una review, ¿sí? De una página web que use siempre. But next class, you are going to invent, yes, your own um, website. Entonces, por eso, acuérdate que uh, la teacher te está mostrando esto, ¿sí? ¿Cómo hacer? Entonces, logo, Search, banner, y te di ejemplos de banner, yes, navigation, ads, los ads, sí, y footer, abajo, ¿está? Yes, well, that's all, y ahí acordate de poner pausa, tal, y volver a mirar el vídeo, este vídeo de la clase del 31 de agosto, yes, ok, para uh, your guides, ¿eh? para hacer una linda web site, yes, ok, no para la clase que viene, para la otra, pero ya te explico porque la otra tenemos revisión y de tarea va a haber eso, ¿yes? ¿ok? Una muy buena página. Bueno, eso sería lo de la página 125, ahora vamos a 122, 122. Are you ready? It says uh, 121 and 123, 123. Yes, you are going to read the conversation between two people. Where do you think it is happening and who is the conversation between? Yes, okay. Read it, please. Okay. Okay. This room is so untidy. There's too much, fíjate, too much stuff everywhere. I know, I will tidy it, but I don't have everywhere, anywhere to put some of these things. Well, let's throw some of it away. So, that was my advice. Get rid of some stuff. Yes, okay. For example, what's this thing? No, don't throw that away. I like to keep stuff like that, just in case. ¿Ves? Entonces, ¿qué pasa? Que te cargas de cosas, ¿sí? De bartulo, como digo yo. Yes, okay. Uh, cachivache, también se decía. Mi abuela decía eso. Yes, stuff. So, your house is full of too much, full of stuff, too much. There's too much uh, stuff in your house. So, listen to the advice. So, what is uh, this happening? Maybe it is a flat, yes, okay, or a house. And the two people uh, probably live in the same uh, house or maybe they share the same bedroom because this, ha this happens with brothers and sisters, with sisters that share the same room or brothers, yes, okay, and one is tidy, the other is untidy, one like, um, one of them likes um, 
uh, collecting stuff just in case. So at uh, the end of the year, is uh, the, the, the room is, oh my God, is the name of the room is stuff. Yes, okay. Well, I want you to do exercises two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, and five. Yes, okay. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Number two, it could be uh, between flatmates, a couple, or uh, a parent, and a teenage, or an adult child. Um, a likely uh, scenario might be a couple. One has moved into the other's apartment and is complaining that their partner doesn't uh, throw things away. Yes, thing is countable. Yes, okay, thing is countable. One thing, two things, three things, four things. And stuff is uncountable. Por eso yo enfatizaba en too much, too much. Atención aquí, stuff. ¿Por qué? Porque la palabra stuff es uncountable. Yes, okay. Y usamos much para los uncountable. Yes, y la palabra thing is countable. Yes. Too many things. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, exercise three. Yes. Okay. Um, is your home full of stuff like this? Well, we have already talked about that. Yes. Um, well, not about shoes and these things, but um, toys. Yes. Yes. My house is full of uh, uh, toys. Yes, okay. My daughter's toys. Yes, okay. Well, exercise four. Read the article and uh, choose the best option. C. Exercise five. One E, two B, three D, four A, five C. No se salten de leer el texto. Is staff winning? ¿Por qué? Porque ahí viene la palabra minimal. Yes, minimal. A very size of number. A minimalist. Minimalist, a person who uses a small number of things or simple ideas in their work or life. Yes, or life. Y subrayar las ideas, también podemos subrayar los tips que dan, que son los que di yo de get rid of things, give away things, recycle, sell. Yes, okay. Uh, in that way, your staff is not going to win you. Okay, is it clear? Good. Well, so, um... In exercise nine, that is for talking, uh, you have to give a presentation to convince another people to have less stuff in their home and sp spend less time online. Yes, okay. Pres present the problem, present the re reasons, and present the solution. Yes, okay. Uh, I, as I say today, well, today we are going to talk about the stuff in your home. Uh, do you spend a lot of money on buying different stuff online, for example? So, uh, one of the ideas, uh, sorry, I will give you different tips for you to get rid of this stuff and uh, start a new minimalist life. Yes, for example, first, you shouldn't buy, you shouldn't spend uh, much time buying online. Second, um, you should get rid of, uh, get rid of, stuff, things, uh, give away, fourth, you can give away, five, um, fifth, yes, uh, you can recycle, you can uh, throw out things you don't use anymore, yes, okay, and in my opinion, this could be very good ideas for those people who want to become minimalist and get rid of these things, the things they don't use anymore, yes. This is a presentation. So, as I did, you must do at home. Yes, okay? First of all, say the problem. Second, you have to give the tips. And then, uh, a kind of conclusion. Yes, okay? Is it clear? So, orally, because this is oral. Uh, pages 124, 125. Yes, and here it says, retake records. You are, we are going to do exercises one, yes, two, three and four and you're going to highlight the discussion's opinion for example what do you think what's your opinion 
I agree, I don't agree with you, I see what you mean, but I don't agree, I don't agree with you in the point that maybe you could go, yes, okay, I suggest you should see a doctor, yes, is it clear? Yes, I'm not sure about what you have mentioned, yes, okay, so, highlight the words about us, advert, contact, contact, home, links and search, yes, okay, are you ready? Good. So, number one. Yes, okay. So you have one. The home page is the first page you see on a website. Home page. Yes. Two. Good websites have links to other pages and to other websites. O sea, que esa es una de las cosas que le tenés que poner los links, que sean buenos links, para irnos a otras uh, websites. Yes. Contact. Yes, okay, the contact page has information about the company, so, or the person who has the website, yes, okay. About us, the, some page, website have about us which appear on the top, on the side, or the side on the screen, they can really annoy, they can be really annoying, yes, okay, no, perdón, contact, you can say a message, me quedé en el cuadro, about us, Page has information about the company of the person, yes? Entonces, en el About Us ya sabes que va a ir información sobre quién? Sobre las personas creadoras de esa web, yes? Okay? La persona o la compañía. Uh, number five, the advert, yes? Okay? Some websites have adverts which appear at the top of the website. Viste, en esta yo te mostré que los adverts van acá en el medio, ¿sí? Y algunas aparecen acá arriba, yes? Okay? Adverts, los anuncios, yes, ok. Uh, they can be really annoying. La verdad que a veces son, eh, te enoja, yes, ok. Visitors want to read and watch up, up to date, what? Uh, content on a website, ok. Que tienen que estar up to date, yes. And seven, the uh, search box help you to find information more quickly, yes. And search, yes, ok. Two. Uh, which website do you visit and when, when you want to do this thing? Set, search information. Okay, I'm going to talk about the website. Viste que yo te puse la website más importante. Entonces, ¿dónde? Where, um, if you want to search for information, if you want to know something, nowadays you can say, no, I don't know. I didn't have a dictionary at home. Uh, I didn't have a, a book about history. So I don't know. No, 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 no. That was in the past. Nowadays, you can ask Mr. Google, yes, okay? Preguntale al señor Google, as teacher Anto says, okay? So if you don't have any ideas, if you don't know uh, uh, a piece of information, you can ask Mr. Google, yes, okay? Um, well, and yes, you can ask, yes, uh, Wikipedia, yes, okay? Listen to music, oh, well, you have many pages, for listening to music, fan translation of words in English, you have dictionaries online, yes, el famoso traductor, yes, buy clothes, book or music, yes, find out the latest news, yes, you have uh, many website pages, yes, okay, and in this uh, um, exercise you will talk at home because this, uh, uh, we, uh, you know, we are going, we were going to, we, you are supposed, sorry, you are supposed to talk about this in the classroom. So now, as I did, you have to do it at home, okay? Is it clear? Good. Giving your opinion, we are going to listen to Sergio and Raquel, Rachel, own uh, a shop called Retake Records, which sells second-hand records and CDs. Yes, they are planning a new website for online customers, customers, Tick the topics they discuss. Yes, okay? Are you ready? Ready, steady, and wait. Hello, hello. There we are. Track 85, Unit 9B. Okay, they are discussing about the name, the name of the website, the homepage, 
the contact page, a search box, product information, links to other sites, the About Us page and Ways of Paying. The About Us page, o sea, somos un grupo que trabajamos con el diseño de remeras online sobre superhéroes. Yes, this is the About Us. Así que pensá bien porque me encantaría ver cómo queda ese diseño de website que vas a hacer, no para la clase que viene, sino de la otra clase para el fin de semana. Yes, ok. One. Two. Ah, no. Ready, steady, not ready. Yes, wait a minute. Because it was in the, sec in the uh, second year. Ready, steady, and go. Track 85. Exercise In 3 and 4 are with the same listening. So, how's it going? Did you find out about the website name? Yes, I've checked it and no one else has the website name. We take records. Don't. Okay, so the first thing is that you have to check that no one else, no one else have the same, has the same name or the name you has already uh, you have already uh, chosen yes so pay attention cool great i think we should buy it today it's the website name yes i've checked it and no one else has the website name retakerecords.com great i think we should buy it today oh and i also started to design the home page let me show you What do you think? Um, it's okay, but there's a lot of text. Sure, but I think people will want to know about us. I see what you mean, but we can have a photo of the shop at the top and then maybe a contact page with more information. In my opinion, it's more important that people see the records for sale as soon as they arrive on the home page. Okay, so she thinks that uh, he has prepared uh, about us a long text, text, yes? But she thinks, she considers that it is more important to show a photo all of the records people, uh, as soon as they uh, open the website page, yes, the website, Yes, uh, she thinks, she considers that it could be more important to, uh, for customers to see the photo of all the uh, records they can find and to have a kind of link about us, yes, okay? And I agree with her, yes, because if customers see what records, records they have, it could be better than reading, we are two brothers that one day decided to open a... Uh, uh, um, a shop about we have many this is long and nobody wants to waste time nowadays so they have to go straight to the point and a photo would be a good idea yes about us also it needs a search box so they can find the record they want a search yes. box yes obvio you can search c o c por qué porque vos vas a poner um, rolling stones and You are going to search, use the search engine, and you will know if they have this record or not. Yes, so that is very important. You're right. Lots of other websites have an About Us page. Maybe you could put the text there. Okay, Good. you know, sí, vamos a poner el texto que dijiste. You can put the text, but on the other side, yes, okay? Uh, about us and then the text yes but the first thing that a, a customer must identify is you know the records there yes okay photo for example uh, on my website yes I will put this uh, the photo with me and my students yes me teaching yes okay because this is the most important thing no a photo of me like this 
because I'm not the protagonist. I'm one of the protagonists in the educational process, yeah? You and I, students and the teacher, yeah? Good idea. Also, I think we could have a video of the shop on the page with both of us talking about who we are and what we do. Yes, I agree. A video would be nice there. Customers will like it because it's personal. Yes. Maybe they can also contact us on that page. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. Regular customers will want to call or email us directly. So I think we need a simple contact page and put information on the About Us page. Okay, well, so they have, you know, here you have the home for sale, about us and contact, yes, okay? And the logo, RR, yes, okay, is it clear? Retake records, yes, okay. Well, so you are going to play it again and you are going to do exercise four. You are also going to highlight all the discussions, opinion, discussing opinion, yes, okay? Well, and it says in number six, you are going to plan, plan a website, but this is not for next class, it could be from uh, Wednesday to next Monday. And it says, what are you going to sell? First of all, you have to decide what you are going to sell, what is the name of your business, then decide the logo, and then what pages you need, yes, and who will show you um, how you will show your product on photos, on a video, yes, and what else will you have, yes, okay, videos, photos, contact, uh, videos of people talking about your website, or about your product, yes, is it clear? Good. And then we're going to check uh, exercises three and four, okay, three and four. One, two, three, four, and seven. One, two, Three, four, and seven. These were the things they were talking about. Exercise four. Five, uh, one, shoot, buy. Two, think. I see what you think. Three, I see what you mean, sorry. Uh, what you think, and then number two. Four, in my opinion. Five, yes, you are right. Six, um, good, maybe, good idea. Yes, okay. Seven, agree. Yes, I agree. And eight, I'm not sure. Acordate que es I agree and no, I am not agree. I don't agree. Is it clear? Let's go to exercise 100 and page, 100 and, page 125. You are going to uh, read this uh, review and you are going to answer what is the purpose of this website? Why does the writer like the website? What is one of the problems with the site and what is the writer's conclusion about the site? Yes, is it clear? Good. Read it. So now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. One, it's a photo sharing website, a place for photographs to show photos. I have already read this. Uh, two, easy to find photo photographs organized into different categories can comment uh, on each other each other photos. Professional photographer is invited, yes, um, to make comments about photos and you will learn more. In this way you learn more. Number three, too much advertising, yes, okay, advertising. And four, useful website for everyone who loves taking photographs and communicating with other people about the photos, okay. Um, well, so, uh, you have to do exercise B, 2A, 3C, 3B, 4A, 5C. And then, of course, not this class, but next class. Esto, esto sí van a escribir, que es la review de una página, que, ya sea de juegos o una página que vos siempre estés usando. Y acá tenés la guía, que ya te expliqué cómo hacerlo, ¿está? Vamos a la última página, 100, and, acordate de estudiar toda la unidad 10 para la clase que viene. And now we are going to do exercises from page, from the grammar, 128. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, are you ready? Good. So if it is okay, you are going to put a tick. If it is wrong, you are going to put a cross. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Right? 
Good. Exercise one. Voz pasiva. Acordate de estudiar voz pasiva porque es el tema de looks de esta unidad. Is sold. Didn't use. Was started. Used. Produced. Six are made. Seven was finished. Eight used to buy. Is built. Ten used to. And eleven built. Entonces, estudiate. La voz pasiva. Used to, que ya te pasé al principio de la clase, lo que solías hacer. Vamos a exercise two. Bueno, ahí tenemos que poner cuáles son pasivos y cuáles son activos. Acordate que los activos van a ser, por ejemplo, didn't, yes, ok, didn't use, um, y, uh, what else, you, no, didn't use, uh, Bills, el, el ejercicio 1. No, el 2 mejor no lo haga. Yes, no lo haga. ¿Sí? ¿Ok? Los activos van a ser los verbos, por ejemplo. Vos tenés un texto, en este caso, por ejemplo, en la frase número 1, is sold. Hay una voz pasiva. ¿Sí? En la frase número 3, was started, también. En la número 6, are made, también. En la 7, was finished, fue finalizado, fue comprado, fue escuchado. Son voz pasiva. Y después en, el, en la frase 2, por ejemplo, didn't use, va a ser un verbo normal. ¿sí? Nos estamos eh, centralizando en la acción y no en la persona. Yes, ok. Doing the action. Yes, ok. Bueno, y después tenemos word building, que es todo lo que di en la clase pasada. Yo te voy a dar un verbo y vos vas a tener que pasar los adjetivos. Por ejemplo, advertise, adver, advertisement, advert. Advertiser, yes, ok. Is it clear? Productive, adjective, produce, the noun, and producer, the person. Is it clear? Yes, ok. Right? Good. Advert, advertising, and advertiser. Yes, produce. Yes, produce. Productive, product, sustantivo, y otro adjetivo, ¿Dónde tenemos? Perdón. Bueno, y la persona, producer. ¿Bien? ¿Sí? ¿Es clear? Good. Así que, atención a word building. Tenemos voz pasiva, uh, used to, word building. ¿Bien? ¿Sí? ¿Ok? Good. Exercise 4. User friendly, 2, basic, 3, fashionable, classic, useful, old fashioned and up to date. Acordate del de libro el cuadernito que te pedí que armes de la A a la Z con todo el vocabulario de cada unidad. Ya a partir de ahora, de la clase que viene, ya rendimos la unidad 10 y nos quedan dos unidades ya para terminar el libro. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Good. Exercise 6. Um, ¿Yes? En las 5 van a ser tus propias 5 productos, ¿sí? De las brands que uses vos. Ok, GAP. Ok, ¿cómo son? Classic and fashionable. Um, Gucci, modern, up to date. Y es, vas a poner una marca, una brand, ¿sí? Y vas a eh, poner un adjetivo que describa a esa marca. ¿Y es? ¿Is it clear? Nike, comfortable and fashionable. Yes, I like Nike. More than Adidas. Yes, ok. Good. Um, well, exercise six. One E, two B, three D, four C, five A, seven. What you think? In my opinion, disagree. Estudiate esto porque vas a tener que completar también, eh? Uh, see what you mean. Maybe we could. Don't agree. You are right. Great idea. And that was all for today. No me voy a despedir antes sin decirte que mire por favor la corrección de los three minutes video. Yes, de, eh, de turista. Ok, ¿yo soy un tourist gay o soy un tourist guide? Guide, guía, gay, yes, entonces acá es guide y este es gay, la pronunciación, ¿está? Es el riesgo, I'm tourist guide. Um, ojo, theater, go sightseeing, you don't have to forget. Finally, no for ultimates, yes. Enjoy your stay. Coca-Cola, you can say Coke. I hope you enjoy your stay, your stay here. People are, ya sabemos que people es plural. Dani, I will explain the short story. 
or I will explain a short story about each place. Yo pienso que eso es lo que quería poner, que ibas a dar una breve reseña de cada lugar. ¿Estoy bien, no es cierto? Yes. Famous culture, entonces pronunciamos bien la palabra famous, no digo Dani, estoy hablando en general de los errores. Cada uno abre su file, mira los comments, porque si no, no se van a enterar de que estuvieron bien o que estuvieron mal, en qué estuvieron bien o mal. It has, no se coman los sujetos, yes, Buenos Aires has, yes, después sigue la frase y dicen has, no, it has, it is, yes, ok, uh, Guille, I'm going to talk about, if you want to, yes, ok, rock first, first, la pronunciación, for más ING que ya aprendió, ya, ya apareció siempre, aparece siempre, artists have been here. O there, yes, ok, ahí, en ese lugar. Bueno, well, see you next class, mua, mua, mua. bye bye, uh, wait for you in the next class, yes, bye bye.